Hello, I'm Daniela. In today's video, it's prompt three for Stitch With Me in 2024. Today's prompt is a fun one. It's probably my favorite one so far. Musical. Now there's so much you can do with this prompt. Oh, anything that really makes a melody is musical. But you can take it any way. You can take part of that word or all of that word. As usual, previous prompts are listed below. I can't wait to see what you post on Facebook. The work has been stellar. Thanks so much for joining me. Now let me show you my process. So before we get started with today's prompt, I just wanted to show you very quickly the progress of my snippet roll. Now I can roll it like this when it's complete and the first prompt, January, will be on the furthest side in the center of the roll. But when it's complete, I can also roll it this way so that December will be the last prompt. And if I roll it this way, when everything gets said and done, December will be in the center. And the January prompt will be the first part of the snippet roll. So that gives you some options. I know there was a discussion on Facebook regarding that, and I just wanted to explain it visually. I tried to explain it with words and it was a disaster. So today's prompt for March is musical. And this was really exciting. I have a whole history of music growing up, learning to play the piano, and then I played the clarinet and did choir. And I also loved watching musicals. We had a small little summer stock theater in our town growing up, and it was such a treat to usher at that place and see all the talent in the musicals. And I loved watching musicals on TV. So musical is a word you can really have fun with. You can use lyrics, you can create your own music. You can think of something that's musical that isn't a specific instrument, it might be a bird or something. I'll, I'll let you come up with some great ideas because I've seen amazing prompts from you on Facebook and I wanna thank you all for posting them and sharing your work. So when I was giving my prompt some thought, I extended my snippet roll. Here I have my February prompt and this is where I'm going to work today. I went through my stash of fabric and lace and I found some fabric here with musical notes on it. I want to incorporate that and then I have some lace. I like the way the lace tones down this fabric and incorporates that background color. And I also found some black cording and I'm going to use this as well. Now I started out by stamping my prompt just like I have done in the past and I already attached it to just a little bit of color here. So I have that to work with as well. Now, this was actually a piece of fabric that was very white. This is originally how it started out, but I thought it was too harsh. Even if I overlay it, eh, that, that dulls it some, but I decided just to dye it with just some inks I had on hand. It's modeled, it's not a solid dye. I think dyeing it with tea would have been a better route for me, but this will work. I also have the seam here of where I connected the snippet roll which I don't mind if it shows. I actually think it's kind of a little charming element. That's my current mood. But I'm gonna use some of this fabric and I am gonna cover that seam. I also have this lace and I think I'll cut it in half instead of just using it like this. I do enjoy both edges, but I just want it to be a side element, not the focal point. So if I cut it in two pieces, I have something I can work with here. I can overlap it stagger it, really play around with it. And I can cut this piece to size or tear it. The last thing I wanted to do in adding layers is I want to repeat some of the stitches that I have here, which I'll do at the very end, repeating those colors as well. But I want to make a treble clef using this cording. So the first thing I'm going to do is stitch down these extra pieces figuring out where I want them. So I'll take a moment, tear them up, stitch them down, and get started with the next step, which will probably be creating that treble clef. So I've tacked this down. I decided to go with the lace on just one part, and I took the other piece and created it kind of on prompt one. I like how it just ties everything in. So now I'm ready to make that treble clef. I'm gonna take some heat erasable pen here and kind of sketch it out. Since I'm going to be doing a couching stitch and using this cording, I can really play around with how I want it. 
I'll maybe have it come off here. So I'll have the line come down here and up here. And now I can clip my thread to a reasonable length just to work with it. And I think I'll start right in the center here and work my way out. Now I have enough thread to complete the task. And I have my little pearl thread threaded through a needle so that I can attach it down. And I'll just go around doing that. So now I created the clef, I really like that. I'd like to attach the label maybe here. And then I'm gonna incorporate some of these colors from the previous one by using stitches just around the piece, maybe carrying it through here. So I'll work on that, see how it looks. So I finished incorporating musical notes. I was really trying to repeat different shapes like I've done on the first prompt and the second prompt. I use musical notes. I echoed some of these shapes here and I'm really happy with the way this is coming along. I save all my little scraps, my lace scraps, fabric scraps, even thread scraps, because I never know if I want to incorporate them throughout my piece. I might use this leftover lace bit in my November prompt, who knows? I just like the way this is looking and how it's building up throughout the months. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. And once again, thank you for posting your work in our Facebook group. If you haven't joined, please consider joining it. It's just a really fun group, very supportive artists.